Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back, or welcome to Destiny Reacts. First, I want to say thank y'all so much for watching my last video, dropping your comments and opinions down below, and also hitting that like button. I appreciate you. So yes, in today's video, we are going to be talking about Liz Life Baby Shower. To me, it was a disaster, but honestly, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Let's get into this video. So I recently posted a short on my channel and it was from Liv's Instagram. She was saying that she's moving the baby shower up to Thursday instead of Saturday. It was confusing because why? Why are you changing the date when you already told everybody it was going to be on Saturday on the weekend, but now it's just randomly on Thursday? Why? But once the baby shower finally started, because Liv was very, very late. She was very late. But once it did start and it got going a little bit, obviously we found out the real reason why she wanted to do it on Thursday and rushed to get it done. <laughs> so once again, we hear Ryan saying that she misses her dad. She really wants to see him. She misses him. Mommy, I want daddy. Okay, okay so And then immediately we hear Christian say, you're going to see him tomorrow. <laughs> here it is right here. So who tomorrow you see daddy, daddy and miss him for yeah. a couple weeks. Now, all of this is actually happening while Liv is trying to open gifts and talk to her mom at the same time. It was hilarious. And then once Christian said that, who else chimes in? Robin. <laughs> she decides to tell Liv what Christian just said and what he just did. And Liv's just like, I know, I know. And she tries to brush it off, but Christian's trying to figure out, is he in trouble? What did he do wrong? Now, I really felt bad for Christian at this moment because he doesn't know. He's just a little kid. He doesn't know what he's supposed to say on camera versus off of camera. He has no idea. He's just saying what's going on, what's happening. But he did get yelled at by Liv and he looked really, really sad. In my opinion, Christian was really over the whole baby shower thing. I don't think he wanted to be there. He didn't really want to be involved. But he did want to be around everybody and see what everybody was doing. He just really was over it. <laughs> but he still wanted to be around everybody, so I get it. Ryan was very excited for everything. She was excited for the cake. She didn't even want to eat her food anymore. She just wanted cake. She wanted to open all the gifts, but when it was Robin's turn, she did not want Robin to have a turn, and she cried. And did you guys hear the part where Robin looked at the comments and she was like, why is everybody putting in blue hearts and blue stars? Why is everybody putting that? <laughs> and then Liv's like, because I'm having a boy. <laughs> Robin was just confused. So as y'all saw in the live, Liv said this baby is baby JJ. And I just could not <laughs> think about a more fitting name like baby Gerard Jr. Like that's the only thing I could think of. JJ Gerard Jr. <laughs> She said she was naming it after somebody, you know, after somebody. <laughs> this is definitely not Gerard's baby, but <laughs> it was funny to me. Baby JJ. <laughs> How ironic is that? And of course, no, we did not get to see her actual belly, but she did give us a belly shot over the dress, you know, but we didn't get to see if it really is a fake stomach or not. But I think she's pregnant, so I don't think it's fake. And Robin was just giving Liv attitude the whole time in this video. It was hilarious. I loved it. I kept rewinding it back just to see Robin <laughs> give it to Liv because it's hilarious. Robin does not care. Robin even came on the camera, stood next to Liv, rolled her eyes at something Liv said, and then walked off. <laughs> so there was actually times in the live that I was just like, Liv, <laughs> you really wanted to bump up the baby shower? because you wanted your kids to be there and look at what's going on imagine how much better it would have been if you would have just did it with yourself maybe some friends you know your mom your sister something to me it seemed like she just really wanted other people to be there and you know having her three kids there and her mom that's more people that would be there than if she would do it when they're gone it probably would just been her and her mom but where's everybody else where's the family where's anybody <laughs> what about she has a sister right a couple of them where they at Liv said she had a cake ready and everything for the baby shower that was going to be on the weekend, but she had to cancel it and get a cake that she just found at the store. I'm like, all of that just because you wanted the kids to be there? It's just, <laughs> but you already had everything planned for the weekend. I don't know. Very interesting. And of course, people were just sending her cash apps back to back to back throughout the whole baby shower. She kept saying, thank you for the cash app. Thank you for the cash app. And then she even said, I'm not going to say how much you guys have sent me. You know, some people like it, some people don't like it. But thank y'all for sending the cash apps. She said, even if y'all send a dollar or a hundred dollars, I'm like, somebody sent you a hundred dollars? She did say she's going to use all the money that people cash apped her 
to buy everything else she needs for the baby. And then she also said that the father is going to have all the baby stuff at his house and then she's going to have all the baby stuff at her house. So basically double everything that they're going to have for the baby. <laughs> okay. It's really sounded like another Jasmine situation because, you know, Jasmine said Chris was going to get the, what, the car seat or the crib and stuff and that didn't happen. Other people bought everything for them. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you think Liz, Mr. Invisible Man, cop person, is really buying stuff for his home for the baby? Or do you think this was just her saying something random to make people feel better about buying her stuff? What do y'all think? Who's really buying all the stuff for the baby? And do y'all remember the part where Robin says, how come y'all are not buying her stuff but when she goes to the hospital? <laughs> so after seeing all the stuff that everybody bought for the baby, Robin's like, okay, and where's the stuff for my mom? Because she's going to be at the hospital too. <laughs> there was also a time in the video where Robin was reading the words on the baby clothes and I thought it was so cute and she did a really good job. I remember a while back when Liv was helping her with her homework, she thinks that Robin might have dyslexia and to see Robin reading the words and getting them right, it was really cute and I'm really proud of her. Robin was also saying some really funny stuff in the video as well. She was talking about when she gets a man she is going to make sure he makes a lot of money. She said he's going to make a lot of money, and if he doesn't, she's going to kick him out. I do want to ask y'all, when do you think the baby is due? Of course, Liv had the baby shower without even telling people when she's due, but I think she might have this baby in February, but let me know what month do you think the baby will be born. I think Liv has been pregnant longer than she wants people to know, which is why she's not telling us the due date, but yeah, I'm thinking February. First, I was thinking January, but I don't know, something about February. So Liv's mom, Stella, cut the cake, and it looked really good. It looked like a marble cake, chocolate, vanilla in there. It looked really good, and it was layered. Somebody in the live thought Liv was naming the baby Julian because she said JJ, and I think they said that's their son's name too, but Liv says she's naming the baby after somebody who is really close to her, and I guess somebody with a J name, so yeah. Who is close to Liv that has a J name? Like, do y'all know anybody that she would name her baby after? Let me know in the comments because the only person I know with a J name in her life is Gerard. Liv also talked about the reason why she is keeping her man out of the YouTube videos and everything. She's not even saying who he is, his name, and she says it's working for her. She wants to keep her life more private. She doesn't want her business out on the YouTube streets. So yeah, we may never know who she's really with if there really is another guy. She also said the only way we would see a man is if she walks down another aisle or she moves in with him. She's really making it seem like there is another guy in the picture. I mean, what if she was really with another man close to the time that she was with Zolo? Crazy, right? But I guess it's not too crazy because she did marry Gerard and then quickly after that went on a trip with the Mamiana gang and we did hear the rumors about what happened there, so yeah. Somebody in the live chat said that Stella, Liv's mom, is probably so exhausted at the end of the day because she's doing all the work. And then here comes Stella into the camera and she says it's all worth it. It seems like their mother-daughter relationship is very, very strong and nothing could ever break it. I think her mom would actually do anything and everything for her. Towards the end of the live, Robin starts telling us about her wishing she was 18 and she said she wants to be 18 because she can get a job, she can go to college, she can get a man, and she can live her best life. Liv tried to tell Robin that when you get older and you become an adult, all you're going to be doing is paying bills, bills, bills. But Robin said, he gonna give me $100 every year to pay my bills. That's how I'm gonna pay my bills. <laughs> and Liv's like, Liv's like, who is he? And of course, Robin was talking about Christian is going to give her $100 every year. Robin thinks that $100 is going to pay all of her bills <laughs> for the year. <laughs> How cute are kids, right? If you're wondering where Robin is getting all this information from, she says she gets it from her school teacher. <laughs> Robin says her teacher told her that her husband works in the Navy and he makes a lot of money. So obviously, Robin wants a man like that who also can make a lot of money. At the end, Liv mentions that she is getting surgery after this baby is born. She says she's not playing anymore. I remember she did want to get surgery a while back, but she didn't end up doing it. So it will be interesting to actually see if she does it this time. But I guess only time will tell. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Definitely leave your comments and opinions down below. Let me know what you thought of the baby shower. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.